TV talent shows would have us believe that great singing is all about big wide vocal range and massive top notes. But is singing all about the extremities, the very highest note you can possibly reach? Let's find out. Sound check. Check one, check two. Hi, my name's Dr. Dan. Welcome to Voice Essentials, where we develop your voice and we improve your sound. And today I want to quickly talk to you about this idea that seems to be constantly pushed on singers that they've got to have this big, massive range, but specifically these big, massive top notes. Is that what singing is? Well, if that was what singing was all about, then Frank Sinatra definitely wouldn't have had a career. Frank is known as having had a career based on about an octave to at the most an octave and a half. You see, for Frank Sinatra, it wasn't about big massive top notes. It was about how he used, fully used, an octave to an octave and a half. It was all about the feel, it was all about the phrasing. It didn't have everything to do with how high can Frank sing. No, it had to do, once again, about what was the message Frank was looking to communicate? And he's called the King of Swing for a reason. And I think there's a lesson, that, a lesson in that for us. Singing is not about how high can I go. Yes, it's cool if you can go, Help me! That's great. But is that what singing's about? You probably spend only 5%, probably less, of your time in a song hitting those top notes and yes we do want to become more efficient more proficient at singing our top notes but you spend the majority of your time in the body of your voice in a space where it's generally for most of us if we're singing in a singing a song that is in a comfortable key we're singing in a zone of the voice that is relatively straightforward it's comfortable what are you doing with those notes don't be so captivated by the extremities of your range that you forget to work on the body of your range. That one and a half, you know, one to one and a half octaves where your voice sits comfortably, where you feel the voice sitting really nicely. The classical people refer to that as the prima voce. It's the prime voice, that zone where you feel really comfortable. Spend a lot of time working on that because that's the area of your voice that you are going to sp uh, spend most of your time. Sound check. Secondly, the area that I want you to think about is don't find yourself captivated by the exceptions of the rule. When we look at certain singers, we can all name the singers that we love. I, th I think of a John Farnham when I think of the singers that I enjoy. I look at John's voice and I go, I listen to John's voice and I go, wow, his range is exceptional and that's the key it is exceptional and that word exceptional means it is the exception to the rule don't find yourself trying to gravitate towards holding the exception to the rule up as the rule yeah it is the exception to the rule be who you were designed to be use your voice to the best manner it possibly can. Realise the potential of your own voice before you go looking to, I guess, achieve the potential of another voice. It's a lot of fun to try and uh, emulate other singers, but it's most important that you spend time working on your own sound. Be the singer that you were designed to be. I hope you've enjoyed today's really quick tip if this is the first time you've joined us, I'd love you to subscribe and join our ever-increasing global family here at Voice Essentials. Uh, as, as many times as I can, I try to put uh, new videos up here every month. And uh, I'd love you to leave a comment and share this video with your friends. And let us know what uh, you would love us to talk about here at Voice Essentials, the tips, the uh, singing tips that you would like to hear. But until I see you in the next Voice Essentials YouTube, uh, YouTube clip. My name is Dr. Dan. Sing well.